If your machine is not turning on or is having intermittent power issues, start by checking the power source and connections. Ensure that the power outlet is functional and that there are no loose or damaged power cables. If you find a fault in the power supply or cables, they may need to be replaced. For this, you'll want to consult your equipment's technical manual. If you're facing issues here, inspect the transducer for any signs of damage or contamination. Also, ensure that the gel is adequately applied for good acoustic contact and check for any air bubbles between the transducer and the patient's skin. If the transducer appears dirty or damaged, clean or replace it according to the manufacturer's recommendations. If you're having trouble with the Doppler functionality, first ensure that the Doppler function is selected correctly. Also, check for proper alignment of the Doppler sample volume with the blood flow of interest. If you're still facing issues, you may need to calibrate or realign the Doppler system as per the manufacturer's specifications. Software or interface problems can also occur. If you encounter such issues, try restarting the system and look out for any error messages. Also, ensure that your machine's software is up to date. If the problem persists, it's best to contact the equipment manufacturer's technical support for guidance. Mechanical or structural problems can also be an issue. Listen for unusual noises during operation and inspect the mechanical components for any signs of wear or damage. Lubricate moving parts if necessary and replace any worn or damaged components. For structural issues, you'll likely need to consult with the manufacturer or an authorized service provider. Remember, regular maintenance is key to keeping your echocardiogram machine running smoothly. This includes routine inspections, cleaning and calibration, as well as checking and replacing consumable items such as gel. It's also important to keep your equipment in a clean and dust-free environment. Lastly, don't forget the importance of professional servicing. Engage with the equipment manufacturer or an authorized service provider for periodic professional servicing and always ensure that technicians performing repairs or maintenance are trained and certified for working on echocardiography equipment. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide to troubleshooting and repairing your echocardiogram machine, from power issues to software glitches and from regular maintenance to professional servicing, you're now well equipped to handle any hiccup that comes your way. Keep this guide handy and you'll always be ready to keep your echocardiogram machine in tip-top shape.